Lace Tan helped Derbyshire build a good lead against Pears. A remarkable day yesterday saw both sides bowled out in their respective first innings, meaning day two would get underway with Derbyshire batting in the early stages of their second innings. Yesterday really did see bowlers dominate, with Derbyshire skittled for 108 before Worcestershire responded putting 113 on the board. So the hosts would pick up their second innings at 19 for no loss, with Reese and Goddaman at the crease. And the batsmen started on a positive note, with Goddaman finding three boundaries in one Pennington over. But in the 13th over, Worcestershire found the breakthrough, Leach the bowler and Reese the batsman out LBW for 20 runs. And one wicket became two, with Goddaman gone the next over, Pennington with the delivery and Vessels taking the catch, Derbyshire 46 for two. Clearly a tricky batting track at Kidderminster, but the batsmen began to work things out with Lace and Madsen showing some sticking power. They weren't scoring quickly, but they were slowly accumulating. And importantly, they made it safely through to lunch with their wickets intact. Derbyshire two wickets down with a score of 96. More of the same was needed after lunch, and it was Madsen who decided to take the leading role, as he was able to find some welcome boundaries and move his score up towards 50. A few overs later though, and Madsen was heading back to the pavilion. An important wicket for Worcestershire, Pennington the bowler and the catch by D'Olivera. That brought Deploy to the crease, and he didn't waste too much time finding a six almost immediately. The fourth wicket did fall though, and it was Deploy who would depart for eight runs, D'Olivera the bowler, Ferguson with the catch. So T arrived with Derbyshire 179 for four and leading by 174 runs. In the evening session, Lace and Hosen would accumulate well together, and before long Derbyshire were moving past 200 runs. Lace, having showcased his defensive efforts throughout the innings, would also illustrate his attacking instincts with a couple of boundaries in one Pennington over as he moved through the 70s. With Lace closing in on his century, he would have to play with a new partner, as Hosin was out for a well-made 33, caught by Dell off the bowling of Barnard, Derbyshire 250 for 5. Critchley came in and hit two boundaries in his first over faced, but his breezy 13 would come to an end a couple of overs later. And in the last over of the day, he would go past 100 runs with a boundary, a brilliant knock, his second first class century coming off 267 balls. And that was the last action of the day at Kidderminster. A better day for the batsmen in this game and an impressive day for Derbyshire as they lead by 267 runs. Early wickets needed for Worcestershire if they're going to stand any chance in this encounter.